hey guys it's magdalene and you're welcome to my safe space so i'm going to be sharing some tips on how to be confident comfortable and safe in your own skin regardless of the type of skin that you have whether or not you have acne prone skin like i do or if your skin is actually clear i'm also going to be showing you guys how i achieve my signature look that's the look that i always go for with my everyday go-to look so yeah First off, I'm going to wipe this lip gloss off. Okay. So, the very first tip I'm going to give to you guys, and I'm sure you must have heard it like a thousand times from different people, is fake it till you make it. Now, I know how many times I've had to go outside feeling really, really, really low, but I just had to tell myself that, you know what, Magdalene, today you are going to be confident. You're not going to let others know that you're not feeling your best right now. You are going to show up like the confident girl that you are. You're going to show up like the girl who's comfortable in her skin, the girl who loves her skin, the girl who is secure in her skin, the girl who feels safe in her skin. And I always tell myself every single day that I don't feel really confident in myself, in my skin, I always tell myself that, you know what? You, you are confident. I tell myself to make myself believe it. So like, fake it till you make it. Tell yourself, to make yourself believe it i go out feeling low and i'm telling myself okay you know we're going to be confident today and before i know it 30 minutes into my day like 30 minutes into after telling myself that i'm going to be confident i actually just embody it i get into it you feel me like you are actually going to get into the act of being confident it works it works okay so yeah fake it till you make it now the second tip i'm going to give to you guys is having a signature look having a signature look that enhances your beauty that enhances your appearance but doesn't necessarily cover you up like it enhances you it enhances your appearance but it doesn't cover you up and for me it's just as simple as lining my lips and you know drawing my eyeliners so yeah and I'm going to be using just these two, the brown and the black liners or pencils. Um, I'm going to start with my eyes because I always start with my eyes. Oh, I don't know how people do this where they are talking and they're trying to apply makeup. <laughs> I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not a makeup artist. I just do this because it works for me. This is like, the okay, it's not the most makeup I can do or apply, but like, it's what I love doing most. It's like the best that I love applying. So I'm just going to go in with the eyeliner. The importance of having your signature look is by the time you have your signature look, it just really makes you feel safe. It actually makes you feel safe. I don't know. It creates a safe space for me, speaking from experience. Most times when I really don't feel confident, I just like whenever I'm going out here I just kind of like do my signature look and then it ups my game within seconds after I do my signature look I kind of feel better it ups my confidence game I don't even know how to put it but I don't know it's kind of like a safe space for me it's really hard to talk while doing this it's really hard <laughs> I don't know, but my mouth is always open whenever I'm trying to apply my liner. Like, uh. I don't really like drag it out. It's just like at the tip. That, like, just really this long. It does I don't take it too far. Then I kind of like come here to make the look a little bit intense or kind of like give it this deeper look if you go i'm trying to say you know growing up here i used to really 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 hate my skin like at some point i felt like just tearing my skin up like it was that bad but like Thankfully, I am in a safer place now, in a safer space with regards to my skin. 
I remember always wanting to like scratch my face when I was younger. It was like I had this toxic relationship with my face. Oh, oh I can't even believe myself. But like I always used to apply different things on my skin. Like I was always applying something every other day to my skin. I was that desperate. I was that desperate to get like clear skin and stuff like that. But then growing up I just kinda like accepted the fact that it's normal to have um acne, it's normal to have acne prone skin, it's normal to have acne marks. So yeah, I've just kinda like let that be the backbone of my confidence journey like with my skin because like knowing that it's normal knowing that there's nothing wrong with it actually just really helps so i'm going to like do my lip liners now and i use both of them for my lips so i'm just going to like i'm not going to talk right now the essence of applying the vaseline to moisturize the lips first is kind of like make the pencils apply easily It helps the two um, shades to blend or the two colors of the pencil. It helps them blend better. Now with my lower lips, I don't go all the way. I don't go all the way. I just stop here and here. So like from here to here. With my upper lips, I really try to just like half of it. And then I'm going to go in with the lighter shade, the brown shade. So let's try to like draw on this part because it kind of like gives the lip a more just say wider look or deeper look but like these parts of the lips actually have this more extended look kind of like extends so yeah just faking it till you make it um having your signature look and um going easy on yourself i feel like that's the start to it you have to accept that it is normal and um, there's nothing wrong with whatever skin type you have and then the days that you don't feel confident you have to like fake it till you make it and then have this look that enhances your appearance and it doesn't necessarily have to be like makeup looks or stuff like that it can be the way you style your hair it can be the way you um, lay your edges and stuff like that so yeah just have a signature look that works for you so i'm going in with my lip gloss I apply quite a lot of gloss. I want my lips to be so glossy. Okay, guys, so this is the final look, and this is the end of this video. I really hope this video has been helpful to you. And don't forget that you are beautiful and your skin is normal. It is normal to have the type of skin that you have, regardless of what type of skin it is. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.